Hello YouTubers, this is Mr. D1776. Well today I'm coming to you and I'm going to be lapping the front of my receiver. So let me get set up here. Take extension, screw it in. Alright, now I've seen them in the videos where they oil, oil this really good. So what I'm going to do is I've got some rim gun oil. I'm going to spray this, just this part right here, not down into here, because that's where this part right here is where the lapping compound goes. But And then I'm going to spray the inside of my upper receiver. receiver and my vice block. lapping compound you use a q-tip to do it with you will need a drill corded or cordless I laid that down like an idiot. Do a little bit of oil on it again. And insert it through the front right here because that's where you're going to be. Oh. Got it too tight. Take some of the lapping compound with a Q-tip. And you smear it all along the edge here. take it and I'm going to do a little bit just to uh, see how much off it is. This one ain't that bad. It's a little off. I don't know if it'll be really seen good. 
I'm gonna bring it up closer here. You can see the shiny, and then up here it's not that, a lot of the um, coating is still on. So up here it, it's a little deeper, and this is higher. So that's what the lapping tool is gonna bring all that to the same. Q-tip, spread some, spread that back out. Spread it back out over it. Get the, every video I've seen and everything I've seen, you have to constantly, because it moves it out of the way from the friction and centrifugal force and everything else, you have to reapply it so often. You'll hear it where it doesn't sound like it's making any gritty sound. That's when you redo it. This is a time consuming process, but it's well worth it if we can improve accuracy of the rifle, which I've talked to a lot of people that's built bolt action rifles and they say that's one of the very first things they do to improve the accuracy of the rifle is lap in front of the receiver where the barrel connects to it. And uh, I didn't say this in my last video when I was talking about this build, but this rifle is actually the second one I'm building. The first one I built is the sister of this rifle for my nephew. Uh, me and my nephew got together and was talking about building a hunting rifle, precision rifle, and I'd done some research on it and I, instead of just going out and buying one and trying to accurize it, I said, well, why don't we just build one from the ground up? Well, we started talking about the Creedmoor and then I came across the Grendel and I started watching videos on the Grendel and researching it and I was amazed at how close the Grendel was to the 308 as far as ballistics are concerned. 
and actually in some aspects the Grendel outperforms the 308 because the 308 if I remember right and I may be wrong but the 308 around eight nine hundred yards it starts to really lose velocity and go subsonic whereas the Grendel now this is on a 24 inch barrel that I researched because I uh, 1200 yards the Grendel round is still going supersonic uh, and I was like wow that means at a thousand yards it'll still have some very good speed and and everything for accuracy and that's what I'm wanting to build is a thousand yard rifle where I live in Georgia in all honesty in the northeast Georgia where I live unless you're hunting power lines or a cow pasture the most you're going to get is a 60 yard shot you may get lucky and get a hundred yard shot but the woods are so dense for hunting that most shots are 50 yards or less and so that's why I'm wanting to keep a sub MOA at 100 yards but I'd also like to see how go somewhere and see how this rifle performs at a thousand yards but right now I don't know any place I can go do that I am looking into it but anyway I digress I, my nephew I talked to him and we both decided to build the Grendel here well as a Christmas present he decided that he was going to buy the barrel the upper receiver the upper receiver parts kit the gas block and the gas tube basically half my build he was going to pay for it and I was like great and he said well we'll build uh, two rifles that are sister rifles and that way you'll have one and I'll have one and they'll be almost identical well except for his uses he bought his boat carrier group from Brownells and I got mine off a of gun broker uh, and I think he's going to go with a different muzzle brake than I'm going with he wants a one that looks like the end of a tank barrel like the 50 cal uh, BMG uses for the sniper rifles and I'm not sh quite sure what I want yet I don't know if I want something that big or not but other than just a few cosmetic things our rifles are going to be the same so I just wanted to throw that out there and tell him thank you for this I truly appreciate it and I it's one of the great things that I love is both of us are going to have basically the same rifle and I built both of them I think I'm about done. This will be my last pass of it, and then I'll pause the video because I forgot my rag to wipe the front off. Alright, I'm going to pause the video, and I will be right back. Alright, I'm back, and I've got my trusty rag.
even shiny all the way around ain't that pretty that will make a completely flush surface right there for the um, barrel to mate up to that is pretty right there well now I know that that's flush gonna be flush In my next video, I will show me assembling the upper receiver. And now I'm going to go into the house, or actually get my stuff and completely clean this, get all the lapping compound out of the threads, and if any made it inside, clean this up really good, make sure there's none on it, and get ready for my next video that I'll be making. Well, I hope you enjoy my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And please leave a comment in the section below. I want to hear all, good or bad. So, be safe, have fun, long live the Republic.